Hi everyone, Ryan here, Ion Capital Solutions. Hope you're doing well. Today, I wanna to offer you a free training where I'll walk you through a few tips here that can really make a big difference, not just in how you earn, but also in your workflow. You see, the two are really connected and understanding essentially the proper workflow that results in higher earnings really is what your focus should be. I know a lot of people tend to focus on the end result, the commission, or others focus on the front end, which is the marketing aspect of it, right? And a lot are choosing paid advertising and things of that nature. Now, we're not going to be talking about advertising and or organic lead generation, which obviously we advocate for here a lot on this channel, not spending money on leads, not cold calling, not having to buy data or advertise or any of that, but you can watch other video content on that. But there's a focus. It's it's the medium. It's the in-between. It's the workflow. It's what you're actually doing in your day-to-day -day. Um, that's going to make really all the difference and what your methodology is for the long term that will greatly affect your outcome. And uh, this is commonly overlooked. So let's discuss. Okay, so... Let's dive right in, shall we? I guess a great place to start would be the numbers game, right? Anybody who's ever been a business loan broker, you immediately hear this. It's a numbers game. But what does that actually mean? It's a numbers game, right? Well, a lot think that it means playing the lottery, that you are simply playing a numbers game, you're fishing, you're looking for the right catch, right? The one that's ultimately gonna pay you, right? Give you that ticket, the application and bank statements that you can forward to the lender and hope that your winning numbers come up and you earn a commission. That is not business loan brokering. That is not how it works. That is not the numbers game that you are playing that is commonly widespread online and it is 100% incorrect. You are not looking to spin on a hamster wheel all day long, okay? If your business model is to sell a toxic product like a cash advance, and find businesses that are in distress and give them yet another toxic product that they can't afford, that will inevitably put them out of business, and then rinse, repeat, you're going to have to chase down new business forever. And you're never going to have residual income, renewals, referrals, an actual book of business. That's not a sustainable model. It's not. The reality is, you're on a clock. You only have so much time in the day. If, if the vast majority of your day is constantly chasing down new business, you're in trouble. You can't keep that up forever. Nobody can. Okay? That's not a solid business plan. That's just the truth. Okay? So there's adjustments that need to be made. You see, you are building a foundation. And playing that numbers game is looking for brick after brick after brick to build that foundation. And that brick is clients, okay? But understand your objective with clients to attract, to convert, and to retain. Retain, retention being the key word here, okay? We want quality clients that are gonna keep borrowing. And that's the bricks that we're laying here. That's the focus. I'm sorry, but if you give somebody a 40% interest rate, a 45% interest rate, whatever, with a daily payment over a short term, they may come back to you one other time if they have no other choice, but likely they're going to look for something better or just be gone because they hate that they had to take that kind of product. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. No matter what anyone tells you, no matter what your thought process is or what you believe, I'm telling you, nobody wants that kind of a loan. Nobody. Would you take that kind of a loan to finance your home or to finance a piece of furniture? No, of course not. You'd want a single digit interest rate. And even then you might think it's a little too high or whatever it may be. Think of the credit cards that we utilize. Would you spend that kind of money? Of course not. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't bother. And if you, if you chose between financing or going out of pocket, you just go out of pocket because you don't want to pay the extra money. That's the truth. Nobody likes those products. So you've got to offer better products to your clients so that they come back to you. You help them. So again, you can attract, you can convert them, and you can retain them. But building this healthy Rolodex of repeat business and these clients, this is where your consistency and stability will come from as a business loan broker. That cannot occur 
without what I had just mentioned, if you're not offering quality products, okay? And if you are not focusing on qualification. Quality is the best business plan and qualifying your applicants is everything. And contrary to popular belief and opinion where qualification is, what's the name of your business? How long have you been in business? How much gross revenue are you doing per month? How, what's your current debt situation? Send me three months bank statements and an application. What's your ownership percentage, by the way? Let me forward to the lender, congratulations. I can fund you. Let's see what comes back. I'm going to get you a quick turnaround, a quick answer. It's low doc, it's easy. I'm going to over promise and under deliver. That's not qualification. That's just convincing people to give you a file, a ticket, a lottery ticket, if you will, to hand in and hopefully your winning numbers come up. That That's not the system. You've got to understand how to effectively calculate loan uh, affordability, a repayment schedule, look at debt, measure line items on financials and understand the difference between deposits, revenue, right? If you're looking at line items, you need to understand Deposits at the top is not the revenue. A wire from another account, what is that account? The lender's gonna to wanna to see those other three accounts. Right, what, what about a, a wire from a, from a, um, a lender for $25,000? That's a loan, that's not revenue, right? Transfers and things like that. These are suspicious inquiries. They're gonna they're going to make inquiries into these this suspicious activity, I mean. That, that, that's what they're going to wanna to see. So you have to be able to weigh and judge these numbers for yourself and calculate what's actually coming in and then what they can afford based on the current loans that they're, they have, that they're getting, that they qualify for. What's the average loan term rate, the funded amount that they can afford, the length of the term, and then work these numbers to ascertain for yourself as to whether or not there's a deal here and they can afford to repay that loan. If they can't, there's no deal. If you're not doing that, if you think that's the job of the underwriter at the lender lending firm, you're 150% wrong. And now you're working on a file with a client. You have no clue whether or not the deal's going to fund. It's any wonder that you're spending so much time talking to so many new people and handling so many files and very few are funding. It's because you don't know the difference between a fundable deal and a deal that's not going to fund. Okay. Also, asking the hard questions is paramount. Digging in and asking the client, have you taken money recently? Have you recently defaulted on a loan, stopped payments, whatever it is? And then they say, oh, you know, I got this one, you know, uh, I had recently had fraud and somebody was taking money out of my bank account. No, they didn't recently have fraud. That's a daily payment for a loan that they took. They agreed on an ACH authorization form to allow that lender to come in and ACH their account and take their money out, to transfer the money in and then take money out daily. They're gonna call it fraud because they're unhappy with it. It's not fraud. So again, Mr. or Mrs. Client, have you defaulted on a loan recently? Have you recently been funded? Have you stopped payments? I need the answers, I'm not the lender, I'm the broker. You need to tell me the good, bad and the ugly or I can't help you. And then what do you know, they change your answer. Yes, I took this much and I didn't pay back and this is what happened. Consider that most of your clients, especially in the merchant cash advance space, clients that are taking merchant cash advances are liars. They're not going to tell you the truth because they've been through the ringer, they know the hangups, they know the problems, and they're not gonna cooperate because they don't want another high interest cash advance. That's the truth, okay? Asking the harder questions and understanding the seasonality of the business. Is your business seasonal? What's your year round cash flow look like? When they tell you the monthly gross revenue, say, is that your actual revenue or is that your deposits? Are you transferring money back and forth between accounts? How much actual revenue is coming in per month? How much are you doing a month in credit card transactions? We're going to need to look into that. Does your profit and loss statement, corresponding balance sheets, tax returns, financials, year end, year to date, whatever, reflect what you're telling me on the phone? It's possible the lender may ask for those documents. I don't know that they will, but it's possible. Ask the hard questions, put pressure on the client. This is too invasive. I don't know, I don't know. Then that's not a good client. Move on, next, next. Your role as a business loan broker is to be a financial expert, to understand and help them navigate the loan space, all of the products within, and be able to measure their financials for affordability and opportunity. That's your profession. If you are just forwarding deals to lenders blindly, that is not gonna serve you well. 
And that's just the truth. Okay. So you are stacking the gold. That's the way I want you to think about this. You're stacking the gold, neatly stacking the gold. Each one of these bricks, okay, is essentially a client that you're going to consistently work with. Okay, and is gonna give you repeat business renewals and referrals. That's what you wanna focus on. Not being the hamster on the wheel, going round and round and round, chasing its tail, trying to discover new business every single day because your next deal, your next commission check can only come from someone new. That is not the way you wanna do things. I promise you, you will burn out. You can only do this for so long, okay? And something you already know, work smart, not hard, okay? But if we examine this simple example for a minute, notice the preparation work done here by the leader in the race. Are you preparing? Are you following a certain workflow? Are you making the necessary adjustments in the interim to ensure that you have a better outcome? Because if you're not, that's why you're struggling. What use is it to sit there and say, oh, I'm pushing a box, it's difficult, it's heavy, it's not really moving, it's unfair, why won't it work, this doesn't work, I'm unhappy, the lender isn't, isn't, isn't offering good products, the client it never picks up the phone. That never gets you anywhere. You've got to look inward and you've got to look at what you're doing and frequently adjust and refine to get to a place to where you can make data informed adjustments towards success and results. That's what's going to get you the results you want. And it takes time. And that's just the truth. And we all know that to be true because that's indicative of life. Nobody becomes an expert overnight. Nobody becomes a success overnight. It's easy to click on TikTok and look at somebody and think that that's the case. It's not. It all starts somewhere and it's a grind for all of us. Okay. So Make these adjustments if you haven't already. Perhaps I'm telling you something you already know, and if so, terrific, good for you. But I guarantee the vast majority of people have not considered these things or have not made adjustments, though they have considered these things. Make those adjustments. Work smarter, adjust your workflow, get better results, okay? Because that's the bottom line. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this topic. Thanks so much for your time today. Good luck with your deals. I'll catch you in the next video.